moving but as far as this entire issue is concerned and uh, then uh, Anurag will uh, The more things change, the more they remain the same. The year was 1973 when I began my career as a filmmaker. My first film, Manjale or BA, aimed into trouble with the censors. It was the huge certificate for trying to subvert the institution of marriage. After a long 30 year career, the year 1998, I hung my glasses in the my film, Zahm, which was autobiographical, also ran into trouble with the censors when we had the chairperson was our dear Asha Padeji. I had to fight with the government of the day and finally release my film at huge cost. Subsequently, the film got a national award for best film on national integration, I even had an award. But what was heartbreaking was what I was subjected. The year is 2016. India has entered a new age. There are more young people today speaking a different language, globally connected, having aspirations to match the mightiest nations in the world. On my right is Ali and Shayad, on the left, Zoya. Ekta sits behind. We are the people who are the future, who dream larger dreams than we dreamt. All our talk of growth and progress is poppycock if the perfume of freedom which the founding fathers gifted to us is taken away. Do you want to make India into a Saudi Arabia where there is opulence, wealth, but not the most prized asset, the right to free thinking? A society that does not respect free thought sows the seeds of its own destruction. And this is what is happening. I come here to stand shoulder to shoulder with the filmmaker, and for my fraternity, and I'm very glad that such a mighty turnout is here. Because I think it's tragic that one of us, Bahlaj Milani, till yesterday, fought shoulder to shoulder with me against the laws of the censorship which impeded us. It is tragic that one of us goes and becomes the toady of some past which want to muzzle us. Nothing has changed. Nothing. In 73, my brother was stopped in the emergency time. Today, it is tragic that as we inch towards release day, where the stars have gone out of the way and created a film which kind of holds the mirror, which shames our Indian society about the drug menace, is being strangulated. I think every freedom-loving individual must stand up and articulate his anger against this practice that's going on here in Bollywood. I feel the day is not far that if we keep silent, we would not be make, allowed to make films that look beyond this, the, the innate film that we made way back in time when all the narratives were reduced to just a boy meets girl story and they live happily ever after. So I stand here to appeal to you to articulate our message because this will not be industry problem at all. This is a problem of our country. And I think as Dr. Medgar said, that freedom is a plant that we need to water individually every day. It's not guaranteed to us when we were born as a nation. This generation now, we all need to give our contribution to preserve this freedom. And that's what we are doing. And I will fight to my last breath to preserve the freedom of free thought. This is the land of Buddha. This is the land of Gandhi. And I dare anybody who can stop me from doing that. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you, what's up? Uh, I'll request where I uh, like to address. Uh, I mean, the fact that I'm sitting here will tell you uh, which uh, way my uh, politics lie. Uh, I think this is uh, uh, I think this is two pronged. I think there's one issue which is of uh, the uh, the certification board that is uh, behaving like the censor, which is cutting. I don't think that's their job. I think uh, one, uh, you certify your film. Uh, you can say 18. You can say 21. Uh, adult certificate, you can say UA, you can say U. Then it's up to the discretion of the public. You cannot certify something as adult and ask for 89 cards. What are you saying to the adult population of your country that they are not 
fit, they're not equipped, they're not going to process this movie properly. I mean, you cannot take that away. That is one issue. The second thing is, uh, I think, a constant denial of what's going on in society. Uh, everything is like it doesn't exist. You know, digging your head in the sand, there are no, there's no drug problems, there's no medical rape, there's no racism. There's, I mean, it's just ridiculous. You cannot fix a problem. The first thing to do is you have to address it. So um, I think uh, uh, freedom of expression is important because the whole, uh, the sole purpose when you're an artist uh, at the core is to uh, hold up a mirror to society. And uh, you need to allow people to do that. There are a lot of films out there that offend me. I see certain promos, I see certain trailers, I see certain scenes where women are treated a particular way and it angers me. But I cannot ban that. It, it, it's made, it's my choice to not buy that ticket. And uh, I think uh, Urta Punjab has to release the way it is. I mean, this is a fight, not just of uh, the film.